How would you like to look up to 20 years younger in just 28 days? I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? But is that even possible? Well, it is, and I have the four week plan to help you do just that in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to roll back the clock up to 20 years in just 28 days with a four week skin perfecting plan. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with me, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert. I'm here to help you get skincare that will work for you, not into your wallet and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content that you're interested in on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up every week. Now, there has been a lot of controversy on YouTube about my age ever since I talked about it in a video in the spring. Chris Gibson age is now a search term. Bizarre, I know. And I know I don't look 57, but it is amazing how kind people can be when questioning my age in the comments. I guess they think I should look like this. Now my goal for myself and for the channel has never been to really help people look younger or myself look younger. I just want to look and be the best I can be at any age at any time, which will make you look younger than your years by default, but that's a great side benefit, right? So I am giving you some of my key principles, my habits in a four week plan to help you roll back the clock while keeping things easy and fun. So with week one, we're gonna start by recharging the body your mind and your skin. How are we gonna do that? By ensuring we get enough sleep on a consistent basis, six to eight hours. That way we're giving our skin time to take advantage of the nighttime repair cycle that our body goes through when we're at rest. Now, while you're sleeping, your blood flow actually increases bringing nutrients and oxygenation, well, I got that word out, to your skin, helping it to repair itself by reducing inflammation, sparking collagen production, and producing healthier skin cells in the process. The quality of your sleep counts just as much as the amount of sleep you're getting, so cutting back on things like caffeine and sugar about four hours before you go to bed for the evening can really help you get that consistently deep sleep that your body and your skin needs, because as you toss and turn, you get up, all of those things that happen if you're not having a restful sleep, you're having restless sleep, interrupt that process and make it far less effective. Turning off the news, skipping that scary movie or that intense television show, also things like putting away the smartphone and the iPad, all can help you get a more restful sleep that's gonna help your skin repair itself and give you that healthier, glowing look. Now, when it comes to sleep, not everybody is the same. I'm a six hour person, many people are eight hour people. It doesn't matter as long as you get that consistently on a night to night basis, start really working on it for the first week of this four week plan. You will reap the benefits for some healthier glowing skin. Also in week one, we want to add the opposite of sleep, which is some physical activity. In other words, we want to break a sweat somehow every single day. Now, of course, this is with your doctor's approval, any type of exercise plan that you're gonna enter into or any change in physical activity, you just wanna have a conversation to make sure it's okay. But I can tell you that exercise has been one of my key, not so secret tools in keeping the processes of aging at bay. It's something I'm very disciplined about and the benefits to your skin are just tremendous. It increases your superficial circulation, again, bringing that oxygenation and nutrients to the skin cells where they can use them. It helps release feel-good hormones that put you in a better mood, lower blood pressure and inflammation. And are you ready for this, the big one? It actually helps drain the excess fluids that gather in your face, taking the puffiness, the tired eyes, and the sallow, dull complexion along with it. Now you don't have to jump into some crazy routine, nor should you do that. You wanna start slow, 20 minutes a day of just light walking, light weight lifting, stretching, yoga, will get you going where you can see that visible change within a week or two, which is gonna motivate you to do more. Now I, again, am very disciplined. I work out three days a week keeps myself in shape and I think I look pretty good if I say so myself. So be sure to put the exercise along with the good sleep practices into place this first week of this four week plan. All right, as we move into week two, we want to look at and reevaluate our skincare routine and practice. And one of those key 
parts is to look at the cleansing process we're using for our skin. The cleansing step is so important. It is the foundation for good skin health and good skin health means younger looking skin. So you wanna make sure that you're using the appropriate kind of cleanser. If you've been with me for a while on the channel, we've moved way past bar soap and shampoo as a facial cleanser. You better not be doing that if you've been watching me. Choosing the right cleanser comes down to a couple of things with your skin type. If you have dry to normal skin or combination skin, you wanna use a creamy style cleanser, a creamy hydrating cleanser so that you can cleanse away oil, dirt, bacteria without over stripping the skin and drying your skin out further. Now, if you have oily skin, you wanna use a clear foaming type face wash that's a little more astringent that can help lift off that deeper layer of oil, dirt, and bacteria, kind of break it down, but still without over stripping your skin because if you over strip your skin, you actually get the opposite result you're looking for because your skin creates more skin oil to make up for the loss. So you end up dealing with more oil instead of less. Now, one key thing to understand, doesn't matter what your skin type is, doesn't matter what type of cleanser you've been using, your skin should always feel clean, damp, hydrated, and refreshed after face washing. Never tight, dry, shiny, or squeaky clean. If that is the case, the face wash you're using is too harsh for you and you need to change it. Now I have tons of videos on this channel to support each one of these weeks, which I'm going to list down below in the video description box. I'll have week one, week two, week three, week four, and I'll have associated videos to get you to the specifics, products and routines that you need to know. So just hang in there with me. All that stuff will be available to you as we work our way through the plan down below in the video description box and linked at the end of this video. So as you look at your skincare routine, look at products that you're using and if they really have been beneficial to you or not, make sure they're not expired. We really wanna review that skincare routine to make sure that it's optimum for our skin and what our goals are. The other thing to consider in week two is to make sure that you are shielding your skin from sun damage. We used to all say that 70% of the visible aging on your skin, hyperpigmentation, age spots, fine lines and wrinkles, were due completely to damage accumulated from sunlight or UVA, UVB damage. But now skin cancer studies, and there are a lot of these going on, are coming out and saying up to 90% of the visible aging and damage we see to the skin is from UVA, UV light. So that's quite a big jump. But that also reflects why we're seeing such an increase in melanoma and skin cancer. Now I credit a lot of the lack of aging on my skin due to the fact that I've been using sunscreen since I was in my 20s. And believe me when I tell you, sunscreen has evolved a lot. I like mineral better than chemical. Those of you who follow me know that already, but it's very important that you use sunscreen daily, SPF 30 or more, 50 being the top. You don't need more than 50 because that stuff's just grease and it doesn't do you any more good than a 50 does. But you wanna make sure that you're applying it consistently to your face, your neck, your upper chest, the back of your neck, your ears, the tops of your arms and your hands. Anything that's exposed basically really needs some protection. And when you're outside, be sure that you're wearing a hat or sunglasses and some protective wear as well. I can't emphasize enough how sun damage just really is the big component of skin aging. Now, the other benefit to using sunscreen is that when you begin using it consistently, you can improve the look of current sun damage up to 50% while preventing more damage and reducing that risk of skin cancer. And again, on the channel, I have videos that are specific to different types of sunscreen for different skin types, what works well for who, even if you wear makeup. So be sure and check those out. Again, they'll be listed down below in the video description box. All right, for week three, it's time to reveal younger, healthier looking skin. And we do that by speeding up the skin's process of cellular turnover. Here's what you need to know. When you're in your 20s, it takes about 21 days for the surface skin cells to be replaced with newer skin. So that's not a very long time. So your skin pretty much stays looking the same. The problem is as we age, that slows down. It slows way down. And it takes about 45 to 50 days for that same process to occur after you're 40. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's where the dry skin starts to show up, the dull complexion, the fine lines and wrinkles, the age spots begin to show up, hyperpigmentation becomes more visible. All of this because cellular turnover has been 
slow down. So what do we do? We exfoliate and we can do this a couple of ways, but the way that I always recommend, again, in your skincare routine is to make sure that you have products that help exfoliate skin. Things like glycolic acid, lactic acid serums, also retinols at night. Retinol is the number one ingredient to help with this issue. It helps repair sun damage. It helps your skin cells produce healthier cells and the prescription grade of retinoids have been shown to remove precancerous cells. So very important to have that in your skincare routine. These type of products help speed up that cellular turnover without the use of harsh scrubs and mechanical devices. You also would be well to think about adding a peel product two to three times per week to do a deeper exfoliation process. And I talk about those on the channel as well. Again, all that'll be listed in the video description box. But these type of products can really help go deeper to get that layer of skin off that's stopping your skincare products from working well, giving you a luminous, healthy looking skin. That brings us into week four. See, I told you, simple and easy. This is the week where we're going to begin to apply and support the other steps that we just put into place the last three weeks with antioxidants. And we're gonna do this with the outside and the inside. For approaching this from the outside, it's very important to have vitamin C serum in your daily routine, preferably in the morning. Vitamin C serums help stop the oxygenation process, free radicals, lower inflammation, and just help you have healthier skin overall. It supports collagen production, protects elastin from breaking down, very important that you have a vitamin C serum, preferably one that has vitamin E or that you have a vitamin E and ferulic acid step included. Those things help boost vitamin C's efficacy and results make a huge difference in the look of your skin, helping to fade out fine lines and wrinkles and that hyperpigmentation and age spots. The reason this is so important is that even with the best SPF sunscreen product out there, or you're the best at putting it on, Sunlight still finds a way to make it in through that sunscreen into the skin. There are long wave UVA, UVB rays that can get past that and do damage at the lower levels in your skin, wreaking havoc later on. It still shows up. And I am proof positive of this. I am the king of sunscreen. And when I take a look at my skin on this side, on my left side, which is the side that's the driver's side of my car, I can see a marked difference in the amount of aging on my skin I have on this side versus this side that is always on the inside of the car. And again, I am the sunscreen king. So it's really important to include these antioxidants both for your skin and in your diet. And the way you get them in your diet, you've heard this before, is to make sure that you're eating leafy greens, things like green tea that are packed with antioxidants. You can take supplements or colorful fruits and vegetables, all help you get that antioxidant vitamin C and E that you need, plus other vitamins and nutrients that are extremely important to your skin's health, like vitamin K, potassium, and magnesium. So four weeks of simple changes and new habits can help you roll back the clock on your skin and give you an overall feeling of well-being and health. Now, I hope today's video helps you formulate a plan to help you look and feel much younger than your years. If it has, please be sure and give the video a like and comment below and let me know what other steps you're taking in your anti-aging skincare routine. I'd really love to know those. Also be sure to check out those video playlists in the video description box below. You just open it by clicking the see more and they'll all be there and checking up my suggested videos that are coming up next, which can help you determine your skin type and what products and routines are best for you so you get your best skin ever. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. You know how much I love you guys. Stay beautiful and I'll see you over on the next video.